Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your Days of Our Live review for September 19, 2016. Let's jump on into it, shall we? So, we start episode off with John Merlina. Merlina had breakfast in bed for John. John worrying about where these criminals are, as he should be. Merlina then took the, eye, the tablet away from it at all, for he can't get no news. So, she stood up there trying to make him eat. Eduardo about to beat down a door like he the fucking police. So they thought it was them coming at them, knocking on the door like that, find out it was Eduardo. So Eduardo said, basically, man, I screwed up. I screwed up. I should have did what I did. He had the right suspect, but he didn't realize when you did what you did by causing that van a wreck, you let three crazy criminals lose. Well, we can't really blame you for that because they're planning on escaping anyways. But still, though, you do your reason the one that caused them to escape. So that is your fault at war, though. And John letting this slide for some reason. I, I would not tell him why the hell would you do that. I know that was your guy and the man that was threatening somebody, one of your family doing email or whatnot. But why would you go ahead and try to... Why would, John, I mean, Eduardo, for crying out loud, you a damn assassin. Can you hide up in a tree somewhere and shoot him in the head or they taking him into prison or something? Did you really have to get your ass on that bus and cause that bus to wreck? I guess you had to do it. I can't get mad at you too damn much, Eduardo, because you making the assaults good right now for what you did. So so I can't hate on you too damn much or getting your ass in them because I want to thank you for doing that, even though you is the start of this shit going. So Gabby and Rafe having a lunch, a dinner. They sit down, Jay, um, um, Gabby talk, talking about JJ, why he, she's scared, and he won't talk about the um, three robbers. Rafe said he reckoned 12 hours ship, he ain't got time. Can we please spend this time together and enjoy ourselves? Gabby still pressed and steam about JJ talking about some he in danger. He been risking his life lately, and I don't want him to risk his life when it comes to them three criminals. Ray kind of calm her down the best way he can. It ain't working, so she still goes off. Chloe get a call from her mama. Her mama um talking about so she got something about a um a opera house and about her son about um Daniel's son. I forgot the little baby name. Jesus. Um. Not dead, and so somehow the baby came up in the conversation. Chloe didn't let that shit. Mama said, Chloe said, Mama, must you bring that up every time we talk about him? Well, I don't want um he's involved because he's a very bad guy. Me and Philip been doing it long. We can get along good. We just got to play it off because I don't want Dad's most to know he's the father. Girl, you can do whatever you want with that. You can try to run with that, spin with that, twirl that however way you want them. Um, daddy issues that following you. I hope you realize that sooner rather than later. He clumsy as hell anyway, as Clover. So you catch him one time, you don't know what's up. But daddy issues following you, so you better watch your back, boo. You too, Philip. He might have him watching your ass too. Um, so Philip went to see um, Maggie at the um, hospital because she had an appointment. He was looking for her on the phone. Maggie said, I'm right here. Thank God Maggie walking, even if it with clutches. I'm um, with crutches. I take that. Thank God Maggie walking. At least walking, at least enjoying walking and all that. Can't wait for her to actually start walking again, but I'll take crutches for now. That's good. She's doing much better. So that means that surgery was a success. At least I can hope it is. Because I am. Cause there's what I still say you need your ass whooped when having that woman going through that, what you had her going through. Had that woman paralyzed all because you wanted to get back at your brother. You still need to be kicked in the head for that. And I don't know what the fuck you trying to get out of this. Having Chloe flawed by, by of all people, um, and, um... I don't know why you trying to have him have Chloe followed by Dario anyway. 
What's up with that? You trying to think you're going to catch her when her slipping? All you got to do is just confront her ass, look at her, her blue eyes, and she, you can see when she fucking lying. Because she don't got no fucking poker face. You'll crack that cold quick just looking at her and confronting her because she don't know how to control herself. She have a very bad poker face, and she just push her hard enough, she'll confess that shit to you. You ain't got to have Dario falling behind her. She's the easy one to crack. So Claire just snuck her little ass out the damn house. Marlena goes get her from Chloe House to the combat and explain why she wanted her to stay in the house. I think she finally got it now. But look, girl, you better stop being grown. Now look, now I, I admired you for being grown when it came to your mama because you know I don't care about your mama. But now you with your grandma Marlena don't play that shit. Go look like you gonna get over on Marlena like you did your mama. That ain't happening no how, no way. She'll call your mama friend and tell her mama to bring her ass back from Hong Kong first. Don't think you're going to pull that shit that you put with your mama because it ain't working, sweetie. Well, they caught the um the little bomber in New York this weekend, so that way half of the stories went in. And why I'm missing some part. But anyway, though, Xander like a lion and he want a piece of red meat. He want to suck. He want to um, chew on. He desperate and ready to go. He want Teresa and he said he going to get Teresa. You want Teresa so bad, though, but the first side of Brady, your ass run like a damn ghost out the damn wind. All the way over the hill, you ran down fat, though, yeah. But yet you want Teresa. Do you honestly think you're going to get a do-over with Teresa? Because I'm here to tell you that ain't going to happen. You might think you're going to get a do-over where you in her in that room all by herself alone and you just do nothing but sit there and choke her. Really, bitch? Yeah, you ain't going to get that another do-over. That was your first and ever time you ever going to get along with Teresa. I hope you enjoyed it because you ain't going to get no chance to get around Teresa no more. You must go in on trying to kill Brady first, Superman. Cause that about the only way you gonna end up getting close to Teresa ever again in your life. And you end up killing Superman, aka Brady. So good luck with that. And hell, Teresa look like she don't need Brady help. Hell, she took care of you by yourself. Kissed you in the nuts and went running. First sign of Brady, your ass went running for the goddamn hills. Um, so Xander working out. Orpheus got got costumes. Clyde out getting bombs, explosives, and guns and bullets. Like he, I guess he right here walking around like he ain't no criminal. So we'll see what they next plan gonna be. They putting their heads together now. They realize, oh shit, we all fucked up. So let's put our heads together, see what we gonna get at with this. So now they putting their heads together. Maybe they'll get some success this time. Maybe, maybe not. We shall see when time come. Desmo finally apologized to Philip for ruining his life about that woman down in his hotel room. And he said he feels sorry about that now. And he told him he want Philip in the club with the state club. Um, Philip said, hell no, you ain't staying with you. The fuck I am. So Philip said, hell no. I guess Philip called Chloe and told her about it. So she said no neither. I guess she said she didn't want it anyway. Cause I missed a whole little good chunk of that with that um with that New York bombing. But well, I see why they did it though. I don't mind with no no breaking news like that. I can e excuse that, but as for the shit, hell no. Anyway though, y'all, that was the episode, but all I can see is that you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I'm on social media down in the bottom bar, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.